Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Bob here. Um, give me a second. I think I just turned. I did turn the volume down. Let's turn it back up again. Yeah, Bob here. We're back with another episode. Um, Percy's Adventures in Middle Earth. Uh, I've from the from episode three, the end of episode three. I've gone and turned in some quests. Um, got a couple of new ones. But what we're going to do? We're going to carry on with the uh, Sprung a Leak quest. We need to. Uh, we've still got some gypsum and some stones to find. And I think it's uh, I think there's a little uh, little cave over here where we've got to go and find them. I haven't mucked about with the sound too much since the last episode, but I think uh, from what I can tell from from episode three, I think it was uh, seems all right actually. I think you can hear me and you can hear some of the sound effects as well. So uh, before I do go any any further. I did, I'm level 8, so I did train some skills. I've got a toggle skill called the Melody of Battle, uh, which is always on. Uh, actually, it's always on, assuming I've got no stances on. I'm assuming War Warcry might be a stance, so, you know, we'll see how we go. But yeah, it gives me 32 parry rating uh, and reflects 2 to 4 damage back to my attacker by the looks of things. Um, I've also got uh, a perfect ballad which lowers power costs for my non-anthem skills um, and gives sort of plus percentages to damage and that kind of thing that would probably be a good one to do first before I go into my minor ballad skill just to lower the power costs a bit I um, also picked up Anthem of War um, ba -da -ba -ba. I'm assuming I need to use three ballads to uh, to use this buff it essentially increases fellowship members uh, ranged tactical uh, and uh, melee damage by the looks of things and I've also got oh code of vigor I've, I've already had didn't I I think probably so yeah there we go got a few new skills to do let's give this got this goblin a bit of perfect ballad there there we go <laughs> that was pretty easy Right, so hopefully we won't have any trouble finding this little cave we need to find. Um, here, okay. Where the hell is it? Let's have a quick look at the map. I think it's the same cave that... Um, maybe I've got to go up here. I think it's the same cave I went to when uh, Elra here was, or whoever was uh, was hanging about outside for a, for a quest during the intro, I think, probably. Foul brew blue crag. Anthem of War. <laughs> I probably need to start using those really just to. Uh... Oh, there we go. I think we've got going here. Going here. Merkstone tunnels. Just from a point of view of, uh, of raising deeds and stuff, really, I probably need to start using those. Oh, there's some gypsum. Where the hell am I going to carry that back? <laughs> it being an MMO, obviously we should stick it in his pocket. Uh, I'm not going to muck about killing any of these cave claws. I don't think I need to for any quests, particularly. Um, oh, I did bind myself to the uh, the waypoint in Forin's Hall, so I'll be able to get back pretty quickly. I think I'm sort of finishing up the quest around this section actually, and we'll we'll be off to uh, Noglin soon, I think. Hole in the ground. <laughs> I'm sure I've fallen through that before when I when I've uh, when I've been up here. So I've got four out of five for both. And there's the two last bits. Okay. Now the cooldown on me uh, on me my, 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 um, teleport skill is an hour. Is it worth using it here? I think it might be actually. Can I use it indoors? Not sure. Oh yeah, I can. I love that. I love that little animation when he's using your go home skill. <laughs> That's brilliant. Little map there he's looking out of the middle earth. There we go, I think it was worth using that. Okay. That's pretty quick, quick loading. Now we've got to bring the mortar ingredients to 
Tin Deer. Now, where is he? Is he in here? I know I got the quest from someone outside, so I'll go outside to see what's what. What I'll need to do as soon as I can, I think, is um, is go and train my horse riding skill. I think you have to do that over in Bree somewhere, if memory serves. Yep, looking at the little map marker here, Tin Deer is down here, so... Sort of racking my memories going right back. I think I've done this quest before. Um, and I believe he sends you into Forin's Hall to um, uh, fill in some holes. Or maybe he sends you somewhere else. I know you've got to fill something in. My Jorin's beard! Let's find out. <laughs> oh, I've got a little hat. Okay. Is a moment of your time too much to ask? No, it's not. You don't need to shout. Oh, I've got a nice little hat. Tindir's Ward. Plus two agility. There we go. I also picked up a dagger that's higher DPS than what I'm doing at the moment, so I probably should probably use that as well, shouldn't I? Um, what does he want us to do? Take the mortar and make the repairs before the fissures expand. Okay, so we've got to go and seal the fissures with Tindir's mortar. Yeah, I'm sure this is inside Forin's Hall. There's a little underground section. There's a tunnel, and I think you need to fill in a couple of a uh, couple of holes. Kind of, I'm, I'm sort of quite liking the uh, the way the minstrel plays now. Um, purely, I think purely because it's quite it's quite an active class, in a sense that you can you can run around. Oh, the festival arena! Shall I go in there? Let's go and have a look. Let's go and explore. Am I allowed in? Yes. Yeah, it's it's just a good class for sort of if you like being on the move and that kind of thing. It's it's uh, it's pretty interesting. All your skills seems to be able to use while you're moving. So it's uh, yeah a bit more arcadey I think probably. Well, obviously there's no festivals going on at the moment. It's uh, the festival hall is empty. Foreign's Foreign's Court, Foreign's Hall Inn. Ah, oh, okay. So I can oh, a little shortcut into. Uh, I say a little shortcut. I was actually near the gate anyway, wasn't I? <laughs> so not really a shortcut. But there are some quests here. Gooflag, trickster. Greetings, traveller. Will you stay a moment? Welcome to the famed Fall Festival in Forin's Hall. Okay. We dwarves love a good laugh almost as much as good ale. One of our festival traditions is to play tricks. A game of troves and trickery. To play, you go about the hall trying to please different dwarves with your tomfoolery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'll give it a go. I've never done it before. We'll, uh, we'll see what it's all about. And Andre, Andre, that's Ale Association. Welcome. Me Association member. You've come at a most fortuitous time. How do you do, Minstrel? Are you interested in proper drinking challenge? Yes, we are. Or oh, a drinking challenge at the Prancing Pony. Speak to Yarni or Biarni. Okay, well, I'll pick that quest up. No reason not to. It's a moment of your time. Too much to ask. Uh, okay. Jonar or Jonar wants us to. He wants me to steal some recipes for drink. What the hell? I'm not sure about that. I'll leave that for now. Because I get a bag of badge of dishonor for, for doing that, and, uh. I'm not happy about that. And there's a box of. geodes? Box of geodes? What the hell is that all about? Pristine geode, what does that do? I'm going to pick it up. I've got no, no idea what it does. <laughs> but we picked it up. Right. Okay. So. Play Troves and Trickery in Forin's Hall. Okay. Well, I like the music there. Little townsperson playing, uh, playing on his loot. Well, I'm assuming that the Troves and Trickery quest... Is I will oh here we go oh, that is quite handy look I can I can do this quest as well now like maybe fill in the wall breaches 
There's a guy up there with a quest thing on his head. Not quite sure what that's all about. Um. At your service and your families. I am at your service. Ah, so he's a bit. He's a bit bored. What does he want me to do then? How do I play tricks on people? What about dance? Dancing with him? No? Okay. Oh, well, he's part of the he's part of the troves and trickery quest. Greetings, traveller. It's very dull down here. Working, much I do. The only s the only sound of water and chattering dwarfs to distract me. If only there was something else. Okay, so what does he want me to do? I don't know what he wants me to do. He wants me to play music because if he wants me to play music, <laughs> I've got no idea how to do that. I've never done it before <laughs> in Lord of the Rings. Um, what about if I just play my what if I play some music to try and heal him? No, I'll have to check out that quest. I'm not quite sure what to do there. <laughs> but we can certainly um, we can certainly fill these quests in. Okay, that's that one done. So now I've got to head back outside and uh, and talk to Tin Deer again. I'm not quite sure what he wants me to do, this guy. Maybe he wants me to play something. Uh, I picked up that geode and I've got something now geode hunting you've recently hunted for geodes I don't know what that does, I've got no idea I need to look into these things because obviously there's a lot, lot of stuff going on um, that I'm not sure about um, well, this is a very active tavern but I suppose you know, in, uh, where dwarves are concerned you would expect it to be uh, pretty active. Right, let's get back outside and talk to Tin Deer. What I might do for the next quest, for the next video, is find out what I need to do to do that Troves and Trickery quest. Um, and then maybe we'll do that on the next video, come back to that, see what, uh, see what happens. I have to say, since I've been playing, I think this this person ahead there, this lawmaster, is probably only about the third other player I've seen since I've uh, third or fourth player I've seen since I've been playing. Um, so I don't know if just the starting areas generally are pretty quiet. Uh, I mean, I'm doing this on a Saturday morning, so you'd have thought they'd be pretty pretty busy. But yeah, I mean that's that's uh, that's quite bad actually. What is the meaning of this? Oh, don't shout, Tim dear. Right, so we've got some new gloves. Is a moment of your time too much to ask? Level nine, awesome. Pristine geode. I don't know what to do with that. It's a barter item. New gloves, which are better than what I've got. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so Tindy now wants me to go to Nogland. Um, but it's a problem with the water and the canal in general. Now we've fixed the holes. He wants us to go and talk to get here to see um, see what the state of the canal is and see how and if we can help so that's down in Nogland so I think probably um, let's have a quick look at our quest thing I think all the quests we've got left now we need to head to Nogland to do them crafting no the prologue one yep yeah, we need to go a new shine Second gear, blah blah blah. Festival. All oh, that chosen tricky one will run in 15 minutes, so we'll, we'll have to find out how to do that at some point. Yep, so everything else seems to be down at Nogland. I know I need to, to uh, talk to Nos Grimsong for, uh, for one of them. Let's remove that one from the tracker. What do you need? Okay. Nogland, there we go. Woohoo! Off we go. Now what I, what I normally do with, with my characters um, in the past, any, any characters that have not been um, hobbits, I normally sort of fast travel there and do the post quests because uh, the post quests give quite a lot of XP. Um, and it's also good because for each post 
destination in the Shire. You could, there's a few other quests to do, so that's quite good for doing um, experience. So what I might do is I might do that, actually, uh, next. I think I've got to talk to Nos Grimsong, who is a he's about here somewhere, isn't he? Um, let's have a quick look at the quests. It's the, the epic one. There we go. Oh no, talk to Rothgar. What's the one where I've got to talk to? I'm sure there's a quest where I've got to talk to Nos Grimsong. No? Okay. I'm sure there was. Maybe that's to come. I'm sure there's something about thrushes <laughs> and talking to him. But maybe I've uh, maybe I've uh, that's to come, maybe. Anyway, we'll we'll head off to Noglond. Um what I'll probably do then maybe is I might try that Shire thing that I normally do. It's just quite good to get to get a bit of extra XP. And then sort of come back here and carry on with your uh, with your dwarf stuff afterwards. Here we go, venturing out a bit more into the world. Nogland, little 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 uh, little settlement. This one, there's not much going on here. A few quests and stuff. But there's Gisli though. I can greetings, turn. traveller. Greetings, Gisli. Here's some grub from your dad. Oh, what do we want? Cooked carrots plus vitality, eggs and onions. We'll have we'll go for the cooked carrots. Let's uh, let's try. I'm not a big fan of carrots myself. But we'll uh, let's have a carrot. Here we go. Okay, a few quests here. Rothgar, he's the prologue guy. Uh, get here, he's the uh, the canal Whoa, bloke. Betide me. The water flow has been restored. Oh, I should know. Has the water flow been restored? I should say not. It's just a trickle. Really, when it should be a torrent. Oh, so there's still trouble, still problems. But he's got he's got a little earring for us as a present, so we'll. Might you lend an ear to a dwarf in need? We'll choose the fate one, and he wants us to go and discover the source of the canal's water flow water flow problem. So we'll uh, we'll happily do that. Um, and we've got some other quests here going on as well. Okay, guys, this has been a shorter video than normal. What I might do is end this video here, because uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to take Percy over to the Shire. <coughs> uh, I'm going to run through the. Um, I'm going to run through the, the post quests where you take post from one post office to the next. It's quite interesting because you get quite a bit of experience for that. And also what it means is, is that you can do some of those quests in the Shire while you're there. So it's almost like a bit of bonus XP. Uh, so what I might do is end this video here. Next time we return, we'll probably be in the Shire about to do the postage quests. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you again soon.